very good morning my dear children hope you all are safe did you complete the notes of the last chapter hope you have completed the fill in the blanks also am i right today we are going to start a new chapter and i know you all are watching this video by sitting where you are watching this video is your bedroom or your drawing room or the dining hall where wherever you are sitting please just turn around and see what all things are there in the room where you are sitting is bedroom or a drawing room or wherever you are you just turn and see what all things are present in that room what are object are present in that room have you observed yes what all things you have seen there if you are in the bedroom hope you see you no know, coat is there bed then no maybe you are sitting on the chair then you have a table then fan is there if you are ac maybe ac is there if you have the almira almira is there you have the clothes there isn't it so different types of object are there in that room if you are in the drawing room of course you may have the tv you may have the sofa set you may have the tea pot you have the chairs isn't it fan you may be in the shelf and so many things are kept in that shelf so likewise so many different types of object you can see in different rooms if you go to the kitchen also you can see different types of objects are kept in the kitchen and wherever you go when you go to any supermarket when you go to textile shop you look at different different types of objects you can see there so now we can come back to the room that you where you are sitting If you are in the bedroom, as I told you, you can see different types of objects. Uh, as I told you, book is there because you are uh, having the book with you. Then you have the fan there and uh, bed, etc. Do you think uh, are all these objects made up of same type of material? Before that, tell me what is a material? It's a substance or substances that are used to make an object. what's a material materials are substances that are used to make an object clear to make a thing we are using what materials so now tell me when you look around no as i told you you can see different types of objects are there in the bedroom or the drawing room and do you think all these objects are made up of same type of material certainly not isn't it you know the book is made up of paper you have the door door is made up of wood you know fan is made up of metal you have the pencil or pen in your hand pen is made up of what maybe plastic pencil is made up of wood you know windows are there you know cot is there cot is made up of wood and maybe almira made up of what metal so different types of objects are made up of different types of materials can you imagine that your book is made up of metal or the fan it is made up of paper have you ever thought that what will happen then just imagine the fan is made up of paper it could just guess your face now isn't it imagine the door made up of you know um, paper or your book made up of metal or your bed made up of what aluminum or steel what will happen then so we can't able to imagine isn't it so we know that different objects are made up of different types of materials and you know different types of materials are there you know book is made up of what different types of materials we can discuss paper yes then what about the fan what it is made up of yes it is made up of metal then you are having the pen with you it's made up of what plastic then you have the eraser with you isn't it what is it made up of it is made up of rubber you know you are wearing the dress isn't it what is it made up of it's made up of what cloth and you know in the kitchen you are using different types of plates isn't it yes and you know some are uh, breakable plates you know they are not ceramic or we could say ceramic or you can say clay 
So these are the examples of different types of materials. One more thing, the important one, it is the glass. So and rock, so many, you know, rocks and like so many examples are there for the materials. So here are some of the examples we all are familiar with. You know, paper, plastic, metals are there, glass, paper, then wood. Another one we, we can say is the wood. So likewise, different types of materials are there. And by using these all materials, we are making the objects. By using the paper, we are making the book. Example, by using the metal, we can make so many things. Example, you made the kitchen vessels or utensils, etc. are made up of metal. Then the fan is made up of metal. The car is made up of metal. Then plastic, numerous objects are there that are made up of plastic. So different, different types of chairs. Then tables are there, chairs are there. Then, uh, you know, the uh, outer covering of the switchboard. So many things are made up of plastic. Rubber, you know, rubber. So many things are, you know, razors are made up of rubber and, you know, rubberized, you know, chapels are made up of rubber. So many things are made up of rubber. Cloth, of course, your dress that we wear. Ceramic, it's a type of clay. It's a type of clay that are that we we'll discuss later. Then clay, you all know, clay pots and all are there. Then glass, so many things are made up of glass. And wood, of course, you all familiar with different types of wooden materials, doors, windows, etc. So these are the examples of materials that we are used for making the object. Clear? These are some of the examples of materials that we are used to make the object. And you all know that different objects are made up of different types of materials. Different objects are made up of different types of materials. That you are clear. And single object, single object is made up of different type of materials. Different types of materials. Then also you should know. As I told you earlier, different types of objects are made up of different types of materials. Not only that, a single type of object is made up of different types of materials. When it's an example, you will understand it better. Think about object, you know, plate. Different types of plate that we all are familiar with. Can you say one by one? Normal, you know, at home we are using the steel plate. Then glass plate. Ceramic plate. You know, ceramic, it's a type of clay. Heat, when the clay uh, gets heated, Afterwards, they make the different types of, you know, dinner sets are there, no? Then, uh, then ceramic. It, it is very powerful, but still it is breakable also. Like the clay, it is breakable, but it is more powerful than the clay. And the designers, you know, ceramic, no different colored ceramics, uh, you know, uh, vessels are available. Different types of ceramic glasses are there, cooking vessels are there, you know, plates are there, isn't it? Ceramic uh, dishes are there. So this plate, you have steel plates glass plate, ceramic plate, you know, plastic plate, then paper plate. You know, different, you know, silver plates are there, aluminium plate are there, different types of plates. So, this plate, it is an object. Plate is an object and by using these all materials, we can make the plate. Street plate, glass plate, ceramic plate, plastic plate and paper plate. Clear? So, single object can be made up of different types of materials. Another example, I should say chair. Chair is an object. And by using what all materials we can make the chair? Plastic chairs are there. Steel chairs are there. Iron chairs are there. Isn't it? Yeah. By using different wooden chairs are there. By using different types of materials, we can make the chair. Table also similarly. So that is it. Single object can be made by using different types of materials. Clear? Same type of object can be made up of different types of materials. Now we can say that these are some of the examples. Now we can say that by using a single type of material, we can make different objects. 
by using zinc type of material we can make what different objects for example metal we can say metal is a material by using metal what all things we can make you know metal we can make ornaments you know gold is a type of uh, ornaments you can make then metal chairs are they metal tables are they you know fan you know the car likewise what different objects are made up of metal different objects are made different types of metal objects are seen around us you know tables are there then you know the window you can see the window railings it are made up of what metal so the no metal plates are there then you know in the kitchen the utensils or the vessels we are using they are made up of what metal clear so metal is a material by using the metal you know different types of metals are there steel is a metal gold is a metal silver metal aluminium copper so different types of metals are there by using this metal we can make different types of objects single object can be made of different types of materials by using a single type of material we can make different types of objects clear then we can say then uh, you know plastic one other important you know quite familiar plastic is a material and what all things we can make by using plastic can you just guess i know that many of you are telling the answer you know plastic mug plastic bucket you know plastic pen you know then now uh, chairs are there tables are there then is plastic you know outer covering of the switch boards and all they all are plastic right so different types of plastic objects when you observe the television washing machine etc iron box and all outer covering is the plastic clear so by using the material plastic we can make numerous objects by using the metal you can also make what numerous objects so different types of objects can be made of different types of materials not only that a single object can be made of different types of material and by using a single material we can make what different types of objects hope it is clear then now we can move on to and what's the criteria or why we select particular materials for making it an object why do we select i would like to ask you one question you are you all are having your textbook or notebook with you now and you know the material it is made up of what is it made up of yes paper why this book is not made up of steel or wood have you ever thought that this imagine though your book is made up of steel of course you can write on it what are advantages of uh, paper yes you can wrap and write if you are using the pen or pencil and you can turn the pages isn't it you can write very easily so many advantages are there if it is a metal it is heavy also isn't it if you are having a metal book with you you can't use it you can't turn the pages that is very difficult so depending upon the uses only we are selecting the material depending upon the uses you know the different types of doors are there plastic doors are there metallic doors are there glass doors are there and you know that are we using the glass door for the bathroom can you imagine that glass door for the bathroom door made up of glass then can you imagine the main door of your house front and the back door are they made up of plastic or the wood sorry plastic or the glass why why we are not using it what will happen then it doesn't provide what safety to your house isn't it you know the compound wall is made up of what stone is your main gate made up of plastic metal only because metal is more powerful than plastic so depending upon the uses only we are selecting the material you know the normal bathroom door can be made up of plastic and you know the um, sit out uh, doors and made up can be made up of glass nothing is strong in it so depending upon the purpose or depending upon the function we can select the material clear okay so i would like to cite three examples you know when you go to the kitchen if you have in gone just go and see you know that the vessels the cooking vessels or otherwise we can call it as what utensils 
cooking vessels or otherwise known as utensils they all are made up of what metals only you can using steel or aluminium you know the cookers are there the vessels are there your milk pot is there you know what um, frying pans are there so different types of vessels are there that, that you are using in the kitchen all these vessels are made up of what all these vessels are made up of metals all the utensils or the vessels that we use in the kitchen they are made up of what metals who can say the answer of it why we are not using the plastic vessels for cooking or why we are not using the glass bowls for cooking if i say this some of you have doubt that in the microwave oven we are using sometimes high quality plastic and the glass bowls are used in the microwave oven then the condition is different you know by using the rice you know that uh, the food is getting cooked but when we are keeping the vessels on the hot flame what will happen especially plastic it gets melt fuse wooden heat will not reach into the food item that we want to cook for what we are keeping the vessel on the flame to get the food cooked isn't it so the heat should pass through it that is very important thing whichever material we are using the heat should pass through it so you know that metals they are the good conductors of heat metals are the good conductors of heat that means they allow the heat to pass through it then we can we will get our food cooked very easily if you are using the what glass cannot it can uh, broken into pieces plastic it melts and when we are using the wood no heat doesn't pass through it so the uh, common material or the material that are supposed to use in the kitchen especially to keep on the flame it is which type of metal we type of utensils metal utensils because it allow the heat to pass through it it is because of that metals are known as the good conductors why they are known as good conductors because they allow the heat to pass through it then only the food will get cooked if heat doesn't pass through it the food will not get cooked at all and one more reason is that they are unbreakable they are this metals they are unbreakable in the olden times you know that people they used you know clay pots now also people are using at home we are also using for preparing some curries and all especially fish curry and all we are using the clay pot isn't it yes and because it is comparative come it is very good for because the clay is a natural material right so this clay and what is the disadvantage or the problem with the clay it can be broken into pieces when the clay pot fall down definitely we know that it can be broken into pieces but this metal they are unbreakable and they are the good conductors of heat it is because of that this question can be asked for the examination why metals utensils are made up of metals what are utensils they are the cooking vessels why these cooking vessels are made up of metal because they allow the heat to pass through it then only the food will get cooked very fast clear aluminium you are using iron metal iron uh, vessels we are using steel vessels we are using so they all allow the heat to pass through it clear but the handles of these vessels you know cooker handle those who have seen it after the class please go and see by using what material it is made it is made up of high quality plastic there is a bake light when you go to higher higher class you will study in detail about it higher quality plastic that is used for making the handle of the cookers frying pans etc otherwise we can see wooden handle made up of wood those who have been seen after class just go and see Pla cookers handle is made up of plastic or high quality plastic and the some you know some frying pans and all no we are using for stirring we are using the not metallic spoon we are using the wooden spoon isn't it wooden spoon for stirring and all we are using the wooden spoons and because the heat doesn't pass through it if you are using the steel spoon if you are stirring the curry and whatever it may be the heat will the heat can pass through it and our hand may get burnt to avoid that we can use what which type of plastic spoon is not advisable we can use what 
wooden spoon because wood is not a good conductor of heat. Heat doesn't pass through the wood. So we are using this wood as the handle for the cookers as well as the frying pan as well as the vessels, meat pot etc. The handles are made up of wood but the utensil is made up of metal because it allows the heat to pass through it. Now we can move on to the wood. You know the furniture, houses and boats. They are made up of wood. These of substances or these objects are made up of wood. Why they are made up of wood? You know the house, you know doors, windows, then uh, for, uh, etc. are made up of what wood. And similarly, the furniture, you know different type wooden furnitures are there. Of course, plastic furnitures are there. Uh, glass furnitures are there, iron furnitures are there and uh, but traditionally we prefer to use what wooden furniture and for making the boat wood is used. You know that what the qualities of wood? Wood we know that they are actually wood are very hard and comparatively they are soft. You know hard as well as what soft because it allows the iron to hammer, it allows the hammer To fix the iron you know we can fix the iron directly we can fix the iron directly into the by using the hammer we can directly fix the iron into the wood is it possible in the case of metal can we insert or can we fix the nail into the iron is it possible through the you know the stone of course it is possible but with the wood it is very easy and not only that we can Cut and polish. We can cut and polish. What? We can cut and polish the wood. Wood is a bad conductor of heat. That we all know heat doesn't pass through the wood. So we don't want to make the vessels by using the wood. But wood is used for making furniture, houses and boat. That question can be asked. Why wood is used for making furnitures? Or why wood is used for making the houses? Because wood is very strong. We all know wood is very strong and hard. But at the same time, it is soft to allow the nails to enter into it. And we can cut and polish the wood. Metal is very difficult to cut. But we can cut. You know, after heating, you can, you can uh, cut the metals, of course. But the wood is comparatively easy to cut. And we can polish to, it to make it more attractive. We can polish the wood to make it more attractive. Clear? And you know that not only that, this wood, they are irresist, water resistant. They are water resistant. Lighter than water. Lighter than water. So it floats. So it flows. You know wood. You know what is meant by water resistant? Water doesn't enter into through the wood. It doesn't allow water to enter through it. So this boat, they are made up of what wood. What does it mean? What? Well, you can say waterproof. Water doesn't enter into it. You know the umbrella is waterproof, isn't it? Through if hole is there, definitely water enters. Otherwise, no. Uh, umbrella provides us what protection from the rain. Similarly, the wood, they are water resistant and they are used for making the boat. As wood is water resistant, it is because of that wood is used for making the boat. Not only that wood is lighter than water. You know what is like lighter? Less weight than water. If you get a wooden piece on the water, what will happen? This water, it will float. It will float in the water. You know, what is floating and sinking? You can just do a small example. Uh, you know that you have the soap, isn't it? If you dip the soap in the bucket of water, what will happen to the soap? It will go deep into the water, isn't it? If you keep the soap dish, what will happen? It will float in the water, isn't it? Soap will go deep into the water because soap is heavier than water. Soap is heavier than water. If you fall, if you if you fall, fall into the water, we will sink into the water. We will go deep. But in the case of plastic or the wood, they float in the water. It is because of that boat is made up of what 
wood. So what are the features of wood? Wood is very hard, wood is very strong, but at the same time it is very soft to allow nails to enter into it. And wood is used for making furniture, then houses and boat. And why they are used for making the boat? Because they are water resistant or otherwise we can say waterproof. It doesn't allow water to enter through it. What will happen if the water enters through the boat or through the wood? The boat will sink, isn't it? The boat will go like the Titanic boat will go, boat will sink into the water. To avoid that, this is a, Titanic is a ship, it is made up of metal. So we can discuss about it later. So this boat, it float in the water because it is made up of wood and wood is water resistant or you can say waterproof. It doesn't allow water to enter into it. Clear? So now we discussed about two types of materials. Now we can move on to the metal. You know the wires. Have you seen the wires? Metals. You know the copper wires are there. Right? Through the copper wires only electricity passes. Why we are not using the wooden wires or the plastic wires? They are wood as well as plastic. They are the bad conductors of electricity that means they don't allow the electricity to pass through it we can use the copper wires because copper is a good conductor copper is the good conductor of electricity that means electricity can easily pass through it and one more thing it doesn't melt it doesn't melt at high temperature you know high in high temperature only electricity is passing in high temperature only electricity is passing through the wires if the wires melt no we will not get the electricity so if the wires this is because of that these wires are made up of copper because the electricity is sorry the metals copper is a very good conductor of electricity and one more reason is that it doesn't melt at all you know what is melting changing into liquid form that's a melting it doesn't melt at high temperature no you know different type you know sometimes no heavy temperature sorry electricity is passing through the wires sometimes in a low voltage sometimes in a high voltage so this copper wire protect the what uh, equipment whatever we are using maybe tv fridge you know our wiring at home you know because it protect otherwise what will happen we'll get shock if this wire is made up of any other material of course good so gold, gold is uh, silver is a very good conductor of heat and electricity. But we can't use because you know why silver is very expensive, very costly. Silver is the best conductor we could say, best conductor of electricity. But copper is comparatively cheaper or less price. So we are using the copper for making the electric wires because they will not melt even at high temperature or high electric power. So this is because of, but still you know that you can't see the copper wire or you cannot go and touch the copper wire. What will happen if you go and touch the copper wire? Yes, we will get shocked, isn't it? So why? So then what happened to this copper wire? It is covered by using what? Plastic, isn't it? All the wires are covered by what? Plastic. You know the equipment that we are using, you know, electrical appliances are there. TV, refrigerator, air conditioner. Uh, iron box etc you know outer covering is plastic because plastic is not a good conductor or a bad conductor or it doesn't allow the heat or electricity to pass through it so we have discussed about three types of materials now why they are using you know you know first we discussed about the metals they are good conductors of heat so we are using metals for make, uh, make, making the utensils or the vessels for cooking and, and but the handles are made up of plastic or the wood otherwise no when we touch the iron directly or metal no our hand get burned or our hand gets burned very fast so the handles are made otherwise we want to use the you know napkins or the towels for holding the thing we can't we can't go and touch the you know um, hot vessels directly our hands will get burnt so we can if we don't have the handle we are using the napkins or the towels to lift the things from the uh, the hot objects clear and another thing we discussed about the wood you know wood is very hard very strong but it is soft allow the nails to enter into it that is about the wood then about the copper you know copper is a good conductor of heat and electricity it doesn't melt at high temperature 
Clear children? Now we can move on to the next session. Now we can discuss the properties of the materials. Properties. Many two properties we can discuss now. First one is the appearance. Second one, it is the hardness. These are the main two properties that we are going to discuss now. And you all know what is meant by the appearance. You know metals, what are the specialities of the metal? They are lustrous, isn't it? They are very shiny. They can be polished. They, they look very shiny. Clear? And you know that the gold uh, and silver, as they are so shiny, they are used for uh, making what ornaments. Gold and silver ornaments, we all know. Then the rocks like, uh, you know, marble and granite. They can be polished. When we polish it, no, they also have a particular luster. Luster means what? Particular shine. Luster means what? Particular shine. So, you know that metals, almost all the metals, they are, they look what shiny. They have a shiny appearance. They are lustrous, we can say they are shiny. Lustrous means what? Do you remember that term anywhere? Lustrous. Queen of silk, what is that? Yes, silk is lustrous. So, these metals, you know, they look shiny. They, we, can, we can polish the metals, they look very shiny. Clear? And in the case of some rocks, you know, rock, um, you know, diamond, graphite, you know, uh, marble and granite, marble and granite, and they also look what, uh, not like the metal, but still they also shiny. You know that the flooring of the house, they are made up of uh, marble as well as granite because you now they look, they also have a particular lust or, or shiny appearance. And you know the ornaments, gold and silver. By using this gold and silver, we are using the ornaments because they are very shiny in appearance. Are we using iron ornaments? Of course, some people are using steel ornaments. We are using iron ornaments. We are using, but mainly we prefer, you, people prefer to use what gold ornaments, steel, you know, platinum, etc. But gold is more attractive because no, they are having a shiny appearance. That is about the appearance. Now about the hardness. You know that different types of objects are the, you know, plastic. Plastic is hard. Then metal. Then wood. They all, some of the examples, they all are then rock. They all are what? Hard. Plastic, metal, wood, rock. They all are very hard. Then, but, and glass also. Some glass, they are very hard. And among these, no, some type of plastic. Some type of plastic. Some type of plastic can be broken and you know rock. Some types of rocks and glass. These three objects, some type of plastic and some type of rock and glass, they all are breakable. They can be broken into pieces. Some type of plastic, you know that they are breakable, can be broken. And you know the glass, almost all the glasses and you know ceramic. Ceramic also can be broken into pieces. You know, clay, of course, clay can also be broken into pieces. Ceramic, ceramic look attractive, you know, that for dinner set and for attractive cooking vessels. It is also type of clay, as I told you. And after heating to a high temperature, this clay, after heating to heavy temperature, we will get the ceramics. From different other type of materials also, ceramics can be made. And some chemicals also, they are adding in some situations, they are adding some chemicals also. But clay is pure what pure one is the clay you know clay pot and all no for as i told you in the earlier for preparing the curries fish especially fish curries and all we are using that so that is the clay pot and they all are breakable and but this metal wood and some type of rock they are unbreakable they are unbreakable and you know some objects are they you know that the cotton rubber etc then wool they all are comparatively soft, isn't it? This uh, cotton, rubber, wood and are soft. And the rubber can be stretchable. You know that it can stretch. You all have that experience. You know rubber band, we can stretch it. And when we release it, oh, it will come close, isn't it? So rubber is stretchable. Rubber. So these are the different types of materials based on. We can uh, classify based on their hardness. Almost all objects or materials are hard, you know. Uh, plastic 
metal, metals are hard, plastics are hard, you know, wood is hard. So all these materials are hard. But among these, some are uh, unbreakable. That that means they will they will not break into pieces. Wood is an example. Metal is an example. Then it will not break into pieces. But some are breakable, you know, some type of plastic, they are breakable, you know, some type of rock are breakable and, you know, glass, of course, they are breakable. Into, they can be broken down into pieces, you know, clay is an object, it can be broken into pieces, ceramic can be broken into pieces. And, you know, the, some, uh, some objects are soft, you know, cotton is soft, rubber is soft, you know, paper, another thing, very soft. And among these soft objects, wool, extremely soft, you all know wool soft. And among these, the rubber, we can stretch the rubber also. We can stretch, we can increase the size of the rubber. You know, you have experienced it with the rubber band, especially boys, it can stretch. So, this is about the properties of the metal. They have the particular appearance, you know, metal, they have the shiny luster, from looking itself, we could we can easily identify which one is the steel plate or which one is the you know aluminium plate. We can easily differentiate one from the other. You know, steel plates, you know, steel vessels are there for cooking, aluminium vessels are there. You can easily differentiate or identify which one is steel and which one is iron. You know the jewelry when you see gold jewelry, we all know which one is gold and which one is silver. Clear? By looking by appearance itself, we can understand when rock we can identify, which one is wood we can identify, isn't it? By looking by appearance, we can easily identify which one is what. If I show a, if I give you a group of objects, you know, uh, you know, rubber, then pencils I give you, then, uh, you know, clothes I give you. So you can easily classify, isn't it? You know, this all are commander cloth, this all are cotton, cotton clothes, etc, etc. And these are rubber and this is a steel and this is the gold. Very easily we can differentiate the objects by its appearance. By seeing itself, we can identify or separate. Another thing is the hardness, the quality or the power of it almost all the objects they are very hard some are breakable some are non-breakable some objects are very soft some of this can be stretchable so dear children today i hope the sessions that we had discussed clear to you for session we discussed about the what right about what is the different types of objects we discussed and why these objects are used for making sorry why the materials are used for making particular object that we all have discussed and now we discussed about the main two properties of the metals objects also clear that appearance and the hardness so children as i used to say every time complete the work complete the fill in the blanks study all the answers until we meet in the next class it's bye from me take care bye